So many times we become, uh, uh, we want to withdraw ourselves. Or it's almost as we, if when somebody asks us, we're ashamed of the grace of God. And I thought I'm glad tonight for the grace of God. Uh, but if you would turn your Bible to the book of 2 Kings, chapter 15, and then I'm going to read some in chapter 18. And uh, I had this thought on my mind. Uh, for a few days now, but uh, 
I thought uh, book of 2 Kings chapter 15. And uh, we'll start reading with verse 1. It says, In the 20th and 7th year of Jeroboam, king of Israel, began Azariah, son of Amaziah, king of Judah, to reign. Sixteen years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned two and fifty years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Je Jeholiah of Jerusalem. And she and he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah had done, save that the high places were not removed, and the people sacrificed burnt in incense still on the high places. And over the book of Second uh, Kings, chapter eighteen, start reading at verse one. It says, "Now it came to pass in the third year of Mosiah, son of Eli, king of Israel, that Hezekiah, the son of Ahaz, king of Judah, began to reign. Twenty and five years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty and nine years in Jerusalem." His mother's name also was Abai, the daughter of Zechariah. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that David his father did. He removed the high places, and break down the, and break the images, and cut down the groves, and break into pieces the brazen serpent that Moses had made. For unto those days the children of Israel did burn incense to, to it, and, and he called it Nehusta. And he trusted in the Lord, God of Israel, so that after him was none like him among all the kings of Judah, nor any that were before him. For he clave to the Lord and departed not from following him, but kept his commandments, which the Lord commanded Moses. Thank you for standing for the reading of the word. And uh, I thought, uh, as uh, I read here, and as we read about uh, uh, Amaziah, uh, the king of Judah, and how that he reigned in Jerusalem, and uh, the Bible says that that he done right in the sight of the Lord, Amen. according to his fathers. So he was a good man. Amen. Uh, he was a good king, but he failed to remove. Those high places. Come on. Uh, but we read about Hezekiah. And uh, we read where that he went in and the Bible says he broke down Amen. those high places. Uh -huh. uh, he tore down the groves. Right. He went as far as to break up the, the serpent that Moses had made in the wilderness because the people began to worship that. Right. And, uh, and I thought, to, as I begin to think about that, I thought uh, in the Old Testament, uh, the term high places is mentioned 117 times. Uh, and these high places were centers for uh, the Canaanite people uh, to have their idolatrous worship. Uh, and the Jews were commanded uh, to, uh, to tear them down. But instead, these places became idols of uh, uh, civility. Uh, to seduce God's people. Uh, and I thought uh, uh, the, the, the Hebrew word uh, for high places is uh, uh, the maha, if I think if I'm pronouncing that right, which simply means mountaintop open air altars uh, on elevated knobs. Uh, and, uh, and I thought, uh, uh, so as, as, we, as we read this, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the Canaanites built themselves these high places and these sacred pillars and and uh, they they uh, in the, they went under the trees and in the groves and and they placed these up. But uh, but as I begin to read, uh, even before Israel crossed Jordan uh, into Canaan, Moses exhorted to the Jews uh, to demolish and to tear down those high places. Uh, he told them uh, uh, we can read in the Book of Numbers, uh, uh, chapter thirty three, where he told them that they, they would become pricks in their eyes uh, and thorns in their side if they continued to allow these high places to stay there. Uh, King Solomon 
Uh, we can read uh, how he succumbed uh, to these, uh, these Canaanite wives. And, and he built them high places uh, to worship and, and to make their sacrifice. Uh, we can see that, that how time after time uh, these uh, places of idolatrous worship were needed to be destroyed. Right. But they were continued to live. Right. Uh, and I thought as I began to think about that, I thought that many of the Israelites obeyed this command. Uh, some of them went in and they, they, they wanted to, uh, as, they, as they got their, uh, uh, as, the, as the land was uh, uh, given out to them, as, uh, uh, you know, whatever was promised to them and whatever tribe that was, some of them went in, they tore those uh, groves down. They got rid of those high places. But a lot of them began to leave those high places. Right. And I thought as I began to think about that, I thought we're living in a church world today, Brother Odell, where there's a lot of people that have begun to leave those high places. Yeah. Right. I thought, uh, I've said it uh, uh, before, and uh, I don't know why it just came to mind, but, uh, but I can think about Jim Jewell uh, whenever he was here, and, and he began to talk about some of the things the Lord began to lay on his heart. And uh, he just simply moved them to the to the, uh, the attic of the house and put them back there in case he ever wanted to get them back down again uh, that it was handy for him. And he said when he went to church and, and the Lord just came to him, I don't remember this, uh, prophesied to him, the preacher preached uh, what it was, but, uh, but anyway, the Lord just let him know that he knew what he had moved into the attic with intentions of bringing it back down. And I thought, uh, uh, the thing is, when God wants us to get rid of it, he means get rid of it. Amen. I thought, we've got to get rid of those things. But I thought the Israelites, uh, the, the, uh, uh, Moses commanded them uh, to get rid of those high places uh, and, and to, uh, to, uh, to move them out. Uh, and, and, uh, uh, but I thought they decided to leave them. Uh, you know, and uh, uh, maybe they thought it was just a, uh, uh, you know, and, and, but the thing about it was, not only was they to get rid of the high places, but they was to drive out all the inhabitants of the land. They was to clean it all out. But for some reason, they decided to leave some of them there. Uh, that they thought it would, might be a good neighbor. Uh, and to allow them to keep their high place and keep their place of uh, idolatrous worship. Uh, but, and they're just a good neighbor. Uh, but I thought uh, we need to get rid of the things. We need to get, get them out of our sight, out of our view, the things that are, uh, that are not of God. Right. Second Corinthians, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I thought uh, uh, we, we need to, uh, uh, we can't, uh, uh, one reason I feel that a lot of people are, are, are looking and are not getting rid of a lot of things is they don't want to, they want to blend in with the world. Uh, and, and, you know, and the Lord has told us to, uh, uh, to be a separate people. Uh, he told us in 2 Corinthians uh, uh, 6 and 17, He says, Wherefore come ye out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Right. And I want to, uh, and if you are different, you are going to stand out. Right. Uh, <laughs> like yesterday, we were, uh, uh, once again, we were there and we went to Lexington and <clears throat> we were sitting there eating and, and I can't tell the difference in a Mennonite and Amish. Uh, there's something about the hats that the women wear and, and uh, but I, I don't know, They're, they all look the same to me, but I think they were probably Amish. And, uh, and I looked up and then here they came and there was a whole bus load of them. Uh, and, uh, uh, they, they were, they were coming in and, and, uh, they, they just kept coming in and, and, uh, you know, they were, uh, a lot of people were looking at them because they were different. And, uh, then I seen, a, a, another couple that were standing there in line where, where we were sitting, I could see through the, uh, as they come in and, and uh, there was a young couple standing there in line and, and, uh, they, they were a, a, a black couple and, uh, the, the young man, his hair was standing up about like this. And uh, I mean, it was just uh, just wild looking, and and uh, they were they turned.